Hello everyone, my name is Mark and today I'm going to do an unboxing and a review of the Cause Free Mini Races Francesco Bernoulli. Now this this is a very exciting release because this is the very this is the very first mini races cause two character to be brought into this line. Francesco is also a very unique mini because Mattel has not made a mini that's like him, like a Formula One car. So yeah, he is the first. He is also the first world world Grand Prix racer to be made as a mini. Now then, let's take a quick look at the packaging. So there's a clear see through blister where we can see Francesco. Metal Mini Races logo down here for trademark. Metal logo, 3 plus. Warning choking hazard, small parts, not for children under 3 years. Disney Pixar Cars logo. Attention and all this jargon. An image of McQueen, Cruise and Storm. And the back of the box is pretty bland. We just have Francesco. A prototype image of Francesco and his name in four languages. Disney Pixel Cars logo next to it. RSN. The rest is just jargon. <clears throat> and the last thing to note here is he is made in Thailand. Now then, let's get on to the unboxing. And here we have Francesco Bernoulli out of the packaging. Now then, let's get on to his appearance in Cars 2. He was a main character. He was McQueen's uh, racing rival in Cars 2. He had a decent amount of screen time and voice lines as well. For his releases, his Cars 2 single diecast got released many times. First in 2011 as a single, and most recently in 2020, I believe, he got released as a single as well on the Blue Desert background. Many releases aside from that. <clears throat> this mini here is currently only avail available as the carded version and as the in the boxes, in the newest wave of the boxes, I believe, one of them at least. Now then, let's get on to to the review of Francesco Bernoulli. On the front here, he has a happy expression with brown eyes. He has a little piece sticking out here that is white with some green stripes. On his hood, he has a little number one with a little Italian logo. He has black rims with, wait no, sorry, he has red rims with black Rotelli tires. And the little bits in the, the rims are painted black as well, which is very nice detail that they added on this guy. That's a first for the minis, I think. He has a white stripe going along on the side, along with a green one. And he has the World Grand Prix logo of the number one on there. Now this whole section in the middle is red. Well, and this little piece in the back. It's green on top and white on the bottom. He also has a little white piece sticking out near the, on the bottom. That goes around. The spoiler has the Italian logo being green. White and red painted on. Same thing on the top and the other side. And it says World Grand Prix on his spoiler. And the back of him is just white. On the bottom is also white. It says 2019 Mattel. Disney Pixar cars made in Thailand and some codes. Well, this one uh, so should say that when he was manufactured. But I don't know how those work. Unfortunately. Now let's compare him to the 155 scale one. Now the one I have is a pretty old model. I've had this one since like 2011 or 2012. Yeah, it's a really old one. Might need to replace it someday. Like the, the tires are chipped. 
and all that jazz. I might replace them soon enough. You can see the expressions are a bit different. Whereas the 155 scale one it has his teeth out as he's smiling, the mini has his mouth closed. And off to the side, like a detail that I noticed instantly is like the little the spots in the rims are painted aren't painted on the regular version, the 155 scale one, but they are painted on the mini, which is a nice touch. His stuff is a little bit more cramped due to the size, I think. And he's actually missing the little FR all in all P, uh, detailing on here, which is kind of sad. It should be right there, but it isn't due to the size, I'm assuming. He's also missing the Francesco and the Italian logo as well. Then he really did miss a couple of details on this mini. Which is kind of unfortunate. And they also missed that out on the other side as well. With the snow decal. They are also missing. And I'm assuming these are like little gas. Gas caps on his sides. Those are also painted on. Now the open wheels. The little pe bits that hold in the wheels are. Like they are all pushed out on the front. You can see them. On the mini, they're just painted on, really. Just painted on there, you can kind of see them. Now the back is actually missing some detail, like this little piece in the middle should actually be painted red. Right here. And it also looks like he's supposed to have the uh, World Grand Prix logo on the bottom of his spoiler, underneath the top. But that's also missing, and also this little middle piece that keeping that's keeping it up is also neck like, through the entire model. Whereas on the uh, 155 scale one, it's just at the front, and this whole section. Yeah, I already said that it's red. You can tell right there. <clears throat> the rest of the model is kind of the same between these two, and you know they both have separate eye pieces. Because this 155 scale on this eye piece is all completely separate. He's a piece of plastic that he can move around a bit. And he can move it and make his eyes move. Which is very interesting. Uh, too bad that the tires on this guy are chipped off. Because now you can't see the Rotelli tires. The Pasta Potenza. Which is very unfortunate. Yes, Mini is very nice and very unique. Now, for the finale, let's bring in Team Francesco. We have the pity here named Alex Makino. It's in decent condition. It also came with the little toolbox. As you can see, and the little stack of tires, which do say that. The Pasta Potens and the Rotelli tires and such. And we also have the crew chief here. Looks pretty nice. His name is Giuseppe Molorosi. I hope I said that right. Yeah, they don't look too bad, but for some reason Giuseppe is like a shade of red. is just very off compared to the other guys. Which is odd because he is also made in China on... So yeah, that's weird. I mean, if it was a Thailand car, it makes sense, but no, he's also made in China. Which is kind of odd. Anyways, that was my review of the Cars Free Mini Races, Francesco Bernoulli. I hope you all enjoyed. See you all next time. Bye!